it definitely doesn't work. Okay, this will work on one one channel. Let me so let me just read this over again from the quickly. Amr Shor Dim Bar Dimi came to him with Tzorech Yotzos. Once you say coming something comes out with Tzorech, Kamish Yotzos Shelo Tzorech. In this case, not usually, but in this case, even though it's Lutzorach that teaches about Bas Kohen, nonetheless, it's Kedzevik came out Shlotzorach. Now, this is the general principle. Dovashiyot Shlotzorach Melamed, something which came out for no apparent purpose, that's Melamed, right? It so becomes a Dovashiyot Minakla Lamed, Lo Lamed Al Atma Yotzor, El Lamed Al Akal Kulo Yotzor, right? Vishalotzorach, if it's something, uh, 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 if it came out for some other purpose, which is apparent, ain't a cholik. It's not v'shalol l'tzorich. If however it's shalol l'tzorich, there's no pur- uh, there's no apparent purpose for it. Then it's cholik. It can divide things up. And again, we mentioned there's a difference between malam and cholik. We'll come back to that later on. You have two exceptions instead of one. and they make a chiluk. So Let's hear from the following case. Now, it's a general principle, which is that you not that uh, what comes up from a carbon, what goes on the misbeach, the murim, right? The specific portions. What if you put the flesh, which is not supposed to be put on the misbeach, the flesh of the chatas, the flesh of the the flesh of the asham, uh, the kachim, flesh of other carbonos, mibsar kachim kalim, whether kachim kachim or kachim kalim. Right, Asham or Shlomim, Umosar Omer, the le- the remainder of a Moser of Omer after you put the Kometz on the Mizbeach, Ushtei Alechem, the two breads which are upon Shulos after you put the little sheep which come with them on the Mizbeach, Alechem upon him, you put the breads themselves on the Mizbeach, the twelve breads after you put on the two containers of frankincense, Ushtei Menachos left over in a Mincha after you put on the Kometz, Umina Sora Mina Dvash. Now, the minasur minadvash means from the sourdough and from the honey. So, question: What exactly? The, how exactly this gets in here? The gilion ashas brings down the bavli. This doesn't appear because this is not the leftover from a carbon. Sour and vash are independent prohibitions. You're not allowed to put sourdough uh, or uh, or honey on uh, the mizbeach period. So it's not clear exactly whether this line should be here. But how do you know that everything which is a leftover in the carbon, meaning after the murim or the comets is put on the mizbeach, how do you know that you're not allowed to put the rest on the mizbeach? So how do you know the other below sasei? Tam Lomer says, Kikos or below chol devash, any sourdough or honey, that you shouldn't put on the mizbeach. And lo saktiru. But we also dash in this, lo saktiru mimenu ishel Hashem. Do not Sacrifice. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the pasuk the way the drasha reads it. Do not put on the mizbeach anything from which already there has been a pro- portion brought on the fire before God. Okay, kosh me and, and the principle which we derive from this next line is kosh yeah kosh yesh mimenu ishim. Anytime something is already gone from this carbon to the fire, harei b'ba'utak tiu. The rest of it you may not place on the fire. That's it. You can only place on the fire the designated portion. Anything else from the Zech, prohibition. Love. Malchus. How many Malchus? Do we, how many times do we flog you? Okay? So Rabbi Lezer, Shalom Rabbi Echonon. Lezer, Rabbi Echonon. Yetzu. Shtei Alechem. Yulam do al kachim lekevish. First of all, this is on a, kind of on a tangent. By the shtei alechem, we have a drasha. It's brought down here in the in the in the in the uh, in the pnei Moshe. There's a drasha which teaches us that not only can the two breads of chuas not be brought on mizbeach, but they can't even be brought on the ramp. If you put them on the ramp going after mizbeach, oh boy, you're in big trouble. Okay, you can't even put them there. Okay, so what about everything else? Do you learn just shtei alechem or anything else as well? Amar um, so he said, so Rabbi Yochanan said back to him, uh, in, there's no word in here, but there should be one, the Pnei Moshe says, in, yes, nothing can be placed on the ramp. 
Kiagad Tani, like we learned, Hamizbech, Ainli Elamizbech, this is the Drosha which is mentioned by part of the Drosha from the Shtay Lechem, not the full Drosha. Ainli Elamizbech, I only know now to put on the altar. Minal the Rabbis is the Kevish, I only know now to put on the ramp. Tam Lomar, Ve'el Hamizbech, Lo Yalu. So there's excess uh, verbiage here. Ve'el Hamizbech, it's not clear if the, it's the Ve'el or the extra hay, whatever. So the bottom line is you can't even put stuff on the ramp. Is that true? Even if you're putting it there for, if to put it there for Avoda, in other words, as a prelude to put it on Mizbech, obviously it's also. But if you're not putting it as a prelude to go on Mizbech, but rather Shalol Avoda, just putting it down there to put it down for a moment, for convenience sake. Tamlom and Lerech Nichoch. And it says on Mizbech, Lo Yalul Lerech Nichoch. They shouldn't be going on the ramp as a prelude to the going up to be placed as a fragrant smell on top of the Mizbech. So that's prohibited. But if you're not doing it as such a prelude, then that, uh, that's okay. Alright? But it applies to everything. Says the Gemara, on my lace, everyone says, no! Osam mute! It says Osam by the Shtei Lechem. And the word Osam teaches us, Elu Chayav Yom Leim Lekevish. Which you Chayav, I need to put him on the ramp only? The breads. The two breads brought on Shavuos. Otherwise, you wouldn't be. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the other ones, you're not high. Put them on the rack because it's they're precluded from Osa. Aha, says more. Now that we've said all that, Mignesha cause of Osa. Why should Chayav goes on the ramp? Because it says the word Osa. Oena cause of Osa milamdin, but it would not have said. Osam, we would have said Melamdin. Uh, we would have learned from the Shtei Halechem of the Shnei Dvorim. Mm. No, no, but there are only two which go on the ramp. I missed one. What? Yeah. No, the two. Yeah, but not the two things. So the Kormer says you be Kurim. So the pasuk over there, the pasuk of El Mizbech Lo Yalu is going both on Shtei Lechem and be Kurim. I'm pretty sure that that's actually the way it appears in in the Chomish. It says. Yeah, but I think that's true. But I think they also both appear in the Chomish in the same place. Yeah, whoever it's in Vayikra, it's part nobody ever listens to. The whole Sefer goes by, nobody listens to Kriyas But um, um. Right. Kamincha Shetakil Hashem Lo Sese Chometz. He calls the Torah to Hashem Lo Saktir Menu Yishel Hashem. Okay, that's the that's the part we just brought before. Then it says Korban Reishis Takrivo Sam Vela Mizbech Lo Yalu L'Reach Nichoach. So he says the Korban Reishis is referring. Rashi brings it down here. Is referring both to the Shtei Lechem and to Bikurim. Right, because Shtei Lechem comes from Saar and Bikurim comes from Dvash. So this is, it's it's as if it's Shnei, Shnei Ksuvim, even though it's really one Pasuk. Yeah. But it's, it's as if it's Shnei Dvarim because it's referring to two things, both the Shtei Lechem and to Bikurim. Okay? So therefore, it sounds like the only reason why we can't learn from Osam, if it was not from Osam, we would say that Bikurim and Bikurim and and uh, and Shtei Lechem are Yotzu min haklal lulamed and lo la lamed al atzmom Yotzu al lamed al klal kulo Yotzu that they're, 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 they're that they come to teach us about the entire klal that anything can't be put on the ramp if not for the word osom right so. Um, <clears throat> So the next word is an obvious typo. Chokim. 
that were it not for the word osam, we would have learned that uh, to, to that that, that they're cholik. So says Omar, the truth is the word cholkin here is really uh, out of place, right? Because not cholik. What does it mean cholik? It means malamdin, right? I'm rechina braid rav hilo lachlok eno cholkin. No, no. <laughs> to be cholik, they're not cholik. We're not learning any machlok cholkin over here. Cholkin would mean that if I put basar uh, shlamim and basar chatos and basar ashram all together on the zech, then I get three malkus. That's not what we're trying to learn from here. What we're trying to learn is that if I put anything on the ramp, I get malkus. But not chalchokim. So that's what Rabbi Hanina Bray, the Rav Hilo points out, lachlokin and chokin. I wouldn't have learned here that you're cholik, that it would have taught me that separate chatos for each for each one component which I put on the mizbeach. Halulamid malamdin. What it would have taught me is that all of them cannot be put on the ramp. You see the difference guy between cholkin and malamdin. Cholkin would be that I'm chayv chatos for each thing in a multiple series. Putting a chayv chatos for putting basar asham on, and a separate chatos for putting basar shlomim on, and a separate chatos for putting basar chatos on. That would be cholkin. That I'm not. That that's. I didn't make an attempt to be cholik here. What I really meant an attempt to do is be malamed. That from I wanted to learn out from Bikurim and Shteya Lechem, and I would have, not for the word Osam, that everything else, included in this general vicinity, is prohibited to be put on the Kevish. Right? Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Boon said, Lo Amar Kein. That Rabbi Luz was not the one who told Rabbi Yechnon. You can't learn out from Shteya Lechem Bikurim because of Osam. Rather, El Rabbi Lezer Shal Rabbi Yechadon. Rabbi Lezer asked Rabbi Yechadon the following: The Yetsu Shtei Alechem Vilam Do Al Kachim Kol Al Kachim La Kevesh. Let to Al Tu Shtei Alechem come out. The two brethren shall come and teach us. They are not allowed to put any of the Kachim on the ramp. Our Malaysia said, "Osam is a mute. Osam is an exclusion." In Chayovim Ale. Elu chayovin alem lekevesh. Rabbi Yochanan himself responded this, not Rabbi Loza to Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan himself said, Elu chayovin alem lekevesh. These are the ones you chay put them on the ramp. Vein char kochim chayovin alem lekevesh. Now chay put them on the ramp. Only if you put them on top of the mizbeach. Which, by the way, makes sense if you think about misvara for a moment. Let's just retreat from the Gemara a moment. Think about misvara. The basar chatas and basar shlamim and all those things are affiliates of an entity which can reach the top of the Mizbech. So the prohibition there is to put them on top of the Mizbech, right? Sor and Vash, they can't be put on top of the Mizbech, right? So uh, obviously it's, there's no point in precluding them from the Mizbech, right? I'm just using now logic, right? Torah says, excuse me, Torah says, the, the Shlomim and the Oshom and all those things are parts of the Mizbech. This don't put on top of his bech. The the sor and vash they don't go on top of the zech at all. So on that the Torah is even more stringent than said. Keep them away even from the ramp. Right, so that's that's really what's going on here. You I think. No, I'm just trying to explain the din. Why the din is different. Halach oh. lamaisa. If you put uh, a basar shlomi and basar off on the kavish, you don't get malchus. Mm-hmm. If you put sor and vash on the kavish, you do get malchus. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to explain the time of the crow, why that's different, okay? Because one has more infinity than his back, and that's when you get closer as opposed to the other one. I can look at it the other way. You could. That's right. I, I realize that. Okay? But uh, <laughs> I thought I'd, get, I'd slip through that. All right. You're right, though. But, but there, there is a distinction. The question is which way to learn the distinction. Um, uh, now, this teaches us. So, so we only learn from a dover echo shiotzim in a cloud with tzorech. If you have a single thing, a single prat which came out of the cloud, if it came out with tzorech, came out for some purpose, ain't a cholik. You can't, you can't use it to make a mag, to make a, to make a chiluk, uh, to divide up the malachas. V'shlo tzorech, it came out for no apparent purpose, cholik. Ushnei dvorim ayer shiotzim in a cloud, and two things which came from a cloud, ain't on cholik, and they're they're not cholik. Because here we didn't, we have no, pre- not because we know for sure that they're not cholik. We just have no precedent. Because here we didn't use them to be cholik. What do we want to use them for? For malamdin, right? 
to teach us something, not to be holy. However, Rabbi Shmuel Chokin, like Rabbi Shmuel, we find a place where even Shnei Dvarim are holy. Two things teach us multiple Malkus. Where do we see such thing? Dharma Rabbi Bun Barachia, Rabbi Bun Barachia said, Dima Rabbi Shmuel, Nehem Rabbi Shmuel, Shnei Dvarim Shots Minar Klau Chokim. I just read that? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. The Tanit, Rabbi Shmuel says, Lo Senachashu. It says, do not say. Well, sus, no, lo tsenachoshu is do not, uh, uh, what? Is that no, that's, that's, uh, lo sashich. Lo is, uh, to, uh, predict the future. Um, in other words, to take signs. I forget exactly how you translate it. You know, to be superstitious, you know, you throw something up in the air, and how it lands determines what you're going to do. That's lo tsenachoshu. And lo tsenachoshu is uh, to, 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 to foretell the future, you know, in a uh, improper fashion. So, Los Nachshuv, Los Anonu. These are two Dvarim, Shiyatsu Minar Klau. What's the Klau? Kishuf. Witchcraft. Sorcery. These are two things which are separated. The Torah said, so, don't do any sorcery. And the Torah said, and don't do not Nichush and Kishuf. So, these are Shnei Dvarim, two things, Shiyatsu Minar Klau. Came out of the Klau, right? So, Rabbi Shmuel says concerning them, uh, 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 these two subcategories of sorcery, they're a general principle of witchcraft. Rabbi Shmuel says they came out of the cloud to make a chiluk. What's the chiluk? That you don't have to, that in or, on every act of witchcraft you do, let's, let's say you use a Ouija, Ouija board and you. Uh, you go and you raise the dead, you hold a seance, right, without, with one, one with and one without the Ouija board, and then you go and you look at a crystal ball, so for each thing we did, we give you Malchus, right, each thing separately. He uses the Shnei Dvarim Lachlok, since Los Oner of Los Nachshu came out, even though they're two things, he says they teach us Chiluk Malachus, and for every different type of witchcraft you do, boom, 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 we'll flog you again. Okay, or if you do maze, it will kill you again. Okay, now new issue: cloud be kores, uprat be kores. You have a cloud which is in a kores. It's not a lav. This is an interesting thing. Now we're going further afield. It's a cloud. There's a general statement which says if you do this, you're going to die. And then you have a prat, which also mentions a kores, which is superfluous because it's already part of the cloud. What does that teach us? Okay? Klau bikaris, uprat bikaris. You have a klau which is a karis, and then a prat which is also a karis. Mil said the rabbi, uh, rabbi Yechonon Amar, or Yechonon Amar, called rabbi Yechonon Amar, klau upratu. It's also klau uprat. Not the klau uprat, remember what klau uprat we're talking about here? Principle number eight in Rabbi Shmos. Kol devar sheyotza, mina klau, lulamid, lulamid alatma yotza, lulamid al klau kulu yotza. Not the klau prat, that's a specification which limits the generality, but a specification which teaches about the generality. What's a for instance? I'll give you a for instance. So it says the Gemara, Demar Rabbi Yavo, Shem Rabbi Yochum, Rabbi Yosin, Rabbi Yochum, Koi Kikor Shariyazim, Kol Tovel Sei Levin Nichas. By the way, over here, there's a Pnei Moshe. I'm not gonna, I really told you outside, right? It's no point doing it. But uh, here he gives the Pnei Moshe, gives that chilik I just told you, between a regular Klau Prat and a case where it's this kind of Klau Prat. Okay. So what's it? Tomorrow I have over Shem Yehon. Kol Asher Yasem Ikol Atoivo Seilevin Nichas. It says anybody who does any of these abominations, any of the Arias, any of the prohibited relations, Vinichas. Kill, gets killed. Then. Now, there's a typo here, as the Gillian Arshas points out. That includes a sister. Sister is one of the prohibited relationships, right? Nevertheless, it comes out of the cloud. It says, a special kores by your sister. After it says, anybody does any arise, he gets kores. So it says, kores by your sister. So that's cloud be kores and prat be kores. What is the purpose of this? So it says, it means if you did multiple of them, right? Then you get multiple carbonos or multi- multiple chatos if it's bishogay, or multiple malchus if it's bemezid. Because remember, for a car race, where we can't kill you, we give you malchus, right? So therefore, multiple chatos or multiple malchus, right? So it says the Gemara, Hasev Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Lezer asks, that's fine. But I got other creases in the Pratim. I have another problem. Where I just have one car race, 
besides the general statement, so that would be nice. And I could say, it comes to Chali. But I got a whole bunch of other individual creases. What do I do with each one of them? Okay? On the case with the sister, is it juxt- it's not juxtaposed. No, it's not juxtaposed. It's, it's, it can't, it's not the same posuk. No. The first it says anybody does ain't the wave. Actually, it's later. Uh, so later, earlier. It's, uh, I think it's earlier. I think. Um, yeah, one's a chos. No, chav is going the next thing, though. I think our chos is also in chav. I think you're right. Anyway, they're not together. Hey, sir, let's see. achos imcha, your aunt. Your your mother's sister or your father's sister. Los You shouldn't reveal them because uh, And there it says all because uh, you're you're un, un, revealing the nakedness of your relative. And there it also says kores, right? So why? Why does it say kores there too? It says somewhere that's different. You know why? You know why there? I'm the tzorich. He us. That's the tzorich. It teaches us something specific. What it teaches? Leidum barai. The concept of uh, hara. The, uh, it says hara. Right? Hara means the beginning of bia. Even though you didn't finish the bia. Right? When the aver touch touches also makom. Even if it doesn't penetrate. That's what's coming to teach us. Um levok siv. Wait a minute. Fine. That'll work there. A man who has relations with the woman who's in need of And there it says Kores. It says Kores by Nida. And there also it says Hara, but we already know Hara. So what's it teaching us, right? So far you answered Achoso. You answered the ant. But you didn't answer. What are you going to do about Nida? What's that teaching us? Amalei, so he said that also. L'tzorech yotzos. That also has a purpose. What does it teach us? Lidon es ha-ma'are k'goymer. It teaches us that somebody who started hara, it's as if he finished. Now, <laughs> you met, what does that mean? We just went out. Obviously, that's what we just learned already, right? So the Pnei Moshe explains, it teaches us that neither similar to Arias in this respect. Because neither might not necessarily be the same thing as Erva. So therefore, I need to just... It would not have been enough to teach me Hara by Arias or Hara by Nida by themselves. I need both in order to teach me that Hara is equivalent to Gemar Bia by both areas. Okay? Shalotom, uh, why is that? Shalotom, because otherwise you should, in order that you shouldn't say, is the word missing here. The Gideon Shouts points out. He does not arise. It's a tumor prohibition, right? Since it's only a tumor prohibition, I might say somebody who does arise not as if he finishes. Therefore, you have to tell me that it's that lefunkein tzarchemema. That's you have to tell me that he's chayev. Okay. Now everybody takes out the next line. Not everybody. The Gilgamesh takes it out. Amale. Okay. Uh, just, just the next five words actually. Amale. So what? I still got more for you. Still got more up my sleeve. Vaxiv doesn't say Bisha Shesh Kavis Do Doso. Person has relations with his aunt. Now uh it's his really his uncle's wife. Because already had aunt before, right? We had aunt, uh, your your father's sister, your mother's sister. This is your 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 uncle's wife. So it says as Isha Shesh Kavis Do Doso Vas Do Dogila, he revealed the nakedness of his uncle. So what about there? Why does it say chorus over there? I'm late with Tzorech Yotzos. That also is necessary. Lead on by Riri. Because that there it introduces the punishment not just of Kores, means death, but our Riri, barrenness. Okay? A new punishment. So that's a unique thing. That's the Tzorech. I got another one. Vaxi Vishen Sheyika Chazei Shesachiv Nidahu. Nidahi. Says your, your, your brother's wife. So there it also says Kores. There too, it's to teach us that that one also you get Ariri. So it's, uh, Ariri doesn't apply to all of them. Not every course in the Torah is Ariri. Right? So therefore I need uh, the ones where it says where the punishment is also barrenness and not just not just Kores, so it had to tell me. The Marabudan Rabudan said, Kola and Dirsibo are rearing you. Anytime it says, are rearing, they shall be having him blow upon him, they die without kids. Are rearing Yamusu. Now that's only from here on in. Are rearing Yamusu, it says they will die, are rearing. 
then Karmis name they lose all the kids they had so far. Okay? I'm Rabbi Yasa. Rabbi Yasa said, the Dosalatorah Yatsas. There's another reason why the Dosa had to be re- uh, written. Why your uncle's wife had to be written. Lemite as Ashes Achiv Mimo to teach us that it's only talking about your uh, uh, your father's brother's wife, not your mother's brother's wife. Okay, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure then what you get on your mother's brother's wife, if anything. I don't know. Your mother's brother's wife, if of course her husband dies, it might be she's not an erva. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, it sounds from the Yushami, it's not an erva. Maybe it's a shnia, you know, and it's the Rabbana, not it's the Raisa. But the way it's the Yushami, it seems, is that only your father's brother's wife is an erva. Your mother's brother's wife is not an erva as lo- once her husband dies. How do we know this? Namakando Doso. How do we know that Dodoso is going on your father's brother's wife? Because it says here Dodoso, the Nama the concept of dod is brought in. For Nehemiah Allen says later on in Parsha of Yerusha, when we talk about Yerusha, it says, "Oh, dodo ben dodo yigalena." It was last week's Parsha. Either you, either the uncle or the the cousin should redeem you. And we know my dodo Nehemiah Allen, just like the dodo which is mentioned by family relationships in terms of inheritance and and redemption. That's ba'achi aviv mi avi because of diver. We know all concepts which have to do with inheritance have to do with the father's family, right? After dos or shnemar la'alon. So it should be say kan, that it says on the side. So to the the ant, which is mentioned here as being prohibited, is only ba'achos aviv me aviv the um it should be uh, not Achel Savim Aviv. It should really be Ashes Achiv Me Aviv. Ashes Achiv Me Aviv. The wife of your, your yeah. Ashes Af. Oh, that's the next line. After this, Shemaram Ba'achos Aviv. This line seems superfluous. I, you know, I talk, I didn't realize it when I was preparing. It's, it's a superfluous line. That's not true. Oh no, no, this is not superfluous. It must be a typo. Uh, I, now I didn't really realize it when I was looking at it before. It must be a typo. This must be after Dosher Shneimer and So to this, the, this hand is on your father's side. It should be Ashes Achiv Meimo, right? Ashes Achiv Ashes Achiv I think it's I'm just going to change it Mike more Ashes Achiv Me'aviv it should be okay I've, uh, now once we're on the topic let's just go let's just say it says you Shami let's take it a step further Af as Ashes Achiv Lemeda Midodoso so too we learn out Ashes Achiv from you, you from your aunt. Now, this is an interesting thing. Ashes Achiv uh uh when told about Ashes Achiv, it's not clear which Ashes Achiv it's referring to. I I don't know exactly what the Mephoshim mean here. I think that it means in terms of Yibu. In other words, who do you do Yibu on? It says you do it on your brother's wife. But your, if you have a half brother from your mother, you don't do it, right? It's only half brother from your father, right? So that's learned out from here, from from over here. Just like over here was saying, everything is on your father's brother, right? So to we say there, it's your brother from your father, not your brother from your mother. Okay? So even only applies. By your brother through your father, okay. It's talking about here too. It's no. This is a. But this seems like the same mistake. My dodoso we said is not going on your. The Dosso is uh, 
They have made a mistake. Tadasa was what? Now, so it's my mistake. My mistake. When it says Dodoso, it's not your father. It's not your father. <laughs> so it's not your father's brother's wife. It means your father's sister. Yeah, okay. Well, I, my mistake. I made a mistake before. Now, oh, it's a mistake. Uh, Dodoso is like this. I touched up Dodoso wrong. Okay, that's always my mistake. Dodoso doesn't mean your father's brother's wife. It means your father's sister from a father. Your father's sister. Half sister. Half sister to which parents? Through a father, not through a mother. In other words, you can have to, you know, a fa- father sister, which is a full sister. So sister. You can have a father sister, which is a half sister. Half sister from a father, half sister from a mother. So we say it's your father's sister through a father. Okay? That's what we learn out from later on. We learn out from Yerushos. Just like Yerushos, everything is in the father's family, not in the mother's family. So to hear, when we want to ask her a sister, it's your father's sister from you heard fa- from their shared father and not a father's sister from a shared mother. And so to by Yibu. We want to know which brother you do Yibum on. If it's a case of half brothers, it's not your half brother through your mother; it's your half brother through your father. Okay, that's your saying. So, uh, saying now, right? Mado dosu shnei malalon ba'achos aviv me aviv akosam medabe. Right? The dodo which you're allowed to marry is your father's sister through a father. Av eishes aviv shnei malakan beishes achiv me aviv akosam medabe. So too the the um, the uh, the 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 brother uh, which you do yibum is only your brother through your father, not your brother through your mother. Ah, can you cry, Akiva? That all works out with Rabbi Akiva. Which Rabbi Akiva? So Lieberman brings down from the Ridbaz. <laughs> I could have looked in Ridbaz, but I saw on Lieberman. He says that it's this is all going. Rabbi Akiva learns lamed mina lamed. Remember of the concept whether lamed him lamed mina lamed. Or ain lamedim lomid lomid. If you learn, can you learn A from B if B is learned from C? So Rabbi Kiva says you can learn A from B even if B is learned from C. Right? Here we're learning A shes achiv from dodoso, which is learned out in turn from ob dodo or ben dodo ego lenu. Right? We see there's a, a chain. We're learning out which brother to Yibuman from which aunt is also for you to marry which is learnt out from which uncle has to redeem the person who was taken as a slave to a goy so that's Lamedim Lamed Mina Lamed A is being learned from B and B is learning to learn from C Rabbi Kiva holds you can do that Rabbi Shmuel holds you can't do that so why do you according to Rabbi Shmuel I do not keep Rabbi Shmuel why do you know Rabbi Shmuel so I'll tell you the tiny Rabbi Shmuel says Nama Kanesha Sochiv it says you take your brother's wife to be a wife uh, uh, to be uh, in Yibum. It says a person who takes his brother's wife is in Nido. Ma Nido Yeshlo Heter Ach Lachari Sura. No, now I say I was wrong again. Told you this is hard. Blah. It's not talking about Yibum. Because <laughs> Rabbi Shmuel is learning about Yibum, is going to learn from Yibum what Eishasachiv is. In other words, in the Parsha of Arias, it says somewhere Eishasachiv. It says somewhere Eishasachiv is also. So I, it, we're talking, which Eishasachiv is also? Which is mentioned in the Parsha of Arias. Now the truth is, again, I don't know what what he do with an, uh, 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 with your brother from your mother's wife. Is it also the Raisa, only also the Rabbanan? I'm just learning the Ushami as it is with blinders on. So the Ushami is saying when it says, Eshe Sochiv is also, which brother is it talking about? And then that, Rabbi Akiva says, it's talking about your, your brother from your father. And that's learned from Dodoso, which in term is learned from the Dod, which is mentioned by redeeming a, 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 a relative who was sold in captivity. That's how Rabbi Kiva's limud. Rabbi Yishmael can't do that because it's a stu- two-stage limud. He doesn't know the two-stage limudim, so he can't learn out which 
brother's wife is Zosser, from which aunt is Zosser, which is learnt out from which uncle does the redemption process by a Jew who is sold into slavery. Rather, how does he learn? So, I could do Kreb with Kreb Shmuel, the time Rabbi Shmuel, Nehmer Khan, Eish, Eish, Eshachim, the Nehmer Allahal, and Eish, Eshachim, Eish, 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 it says here, uh, uh, and it says later on, a person who takes his 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 his, his brother's wife is a nida. What does it mean, nida? How can you call it a nida? So it says it says in Shami, I'll tell you. Man nida yeshla heter lachi sura. What does nida mean? Nida means it's temporary, not permanent. So if your brother's wife is called a Nida, it must be talking about a case where it's not a permanent Isser. What's a per- case where it's not a permanent Isser? Yibum. We know independently that Yibum only applies to your to, to your brother from your father's wife. Because that's Lachim Shem Israel and obviously has to do laws of inheritance. So we know that independently. So we learn out from there. Manido yesh heter laachar isura af eshes achim me aviv. It must be talking here about his brother's wife when the brother's a brother from a father. Because yesh laachar achim isura has a kid can be permitted after it's prohibited. Yotzas eshes achim me imo as opposed to your brother's wife when it's your brother from your mother. Shein lo heter laachar isura which has no permissibility after she's usher. Now, this clearly indicates um, I'm, there is an Issa Daraisa. And we're just trying to figure out what some Pasuk is talking about. I don't know, so I'm co- co- somewhat bewildered as to what's going on. Now, as we see clearly, it's also Daraisa to have relations with your, your, your brother through your mother's wife. Yet, on the other hand, we're, having a, we're not sure what, what Aisha Sahib means. So, something, something funny is going on, and I don't know exactly how, what to do with it. Too bad. Let's go on. Okay? Says the Gemara further. That's the great thing about Daf Yomi. First you don't succeed, on, on you go. Says the Gemara. Why well, catch the next cycle, right? Huh? I leave big question mark here. That's uh, no choice. Okay. So. Um, how Rabbi Shmuel? Uh, now that's uh, everybody says here Lieberman and uh, also uh, uh, the, the Chaim Kanievsky says the typo. It's not Rabbi Shmuel, but rather Rabbi Lezer. Rabbi Lezer, this is the talk, talk, it's going a prelude to the next Gemara. Rabbi Lezer is going to ask a big question on Rabbi Yochanan. Okay, what's the question going to be? So it says the Gemara further. Rabbi Avo, Rabbi Lezer, Shem Rabbi Yosha said, Rabbi and Rabbi Lezer both said name Rabbi Yosha, Shnei Lavin Kores Echad. What if you have two Lavin and one Kores? Okay, you have two Lavin and one Kores between the two of them. Only one Kores is stated, but two Lavin are stated. And the Gemara is going to give an example. Lavin Chokin Akrisus. The Lavin separate the Krisus. They make it into two. Right? Another, what, what do we mean by that? So it says, Yushami Mataimo, where's the puzzle like this? It says, Absar Adam Lo Yisach, Umaskunto Lo Sasuhu Sukamo. It says, Do not, uh, uh, do not put the, the, um, the Shemana Mishra, I think it's going on, the oil of anointing on a human flesh, and don't make anything like it. Uksivan, it says, East, now those are two loving, right? Don't don't put it on and don't make anything like it. Uksiv it says it says a person who does uh, does uh, 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 make something like it. Fasheri teimi menu alzor or puts it on somebody who's not a coin godol or a melech nichras meyamov. He gets curries. So the two laven only one creature between the two of them. Hareish yesh kan stay laven v'kores achas. The two laven here but only one kores. So, lavin chokin krisos. The lavin divide up the krisos, right? We say the lavin divide it up. And even if you did, even if you did only one of them, you still get the same punishment. You get, you have to bring a carbon. You don't have to do two in order to give a carbon. Even one of the two gets you a carbon. Ma avile rabbi echonon. Now, if that's the case, if rabbi, uh, if uh, we say this. Uh, if we say this, so now, 
Yeah. Now, now it's a big catch, Rabbi Yochan. This is Rabbi Yochan's catch, Rabbi Yochan. Rabbi Yochan had said before that we need all the we need the extra krisus, the extra Christ by Chosa, for instance. He said the Christ was written by Chosa by your sister. Why is it written? He said in order to teach us that you the luchalik, right? In order to teach us that you get a separate malchus for each one you do or separate chattas for each one you do. Says Rabbi Elazar, I don't understand. You, I just learned a new principle here. I learned that lavin chok and krisus. I learned you don't need to have separate krisus. You don't need to have a separate course to teach us the chiluk. All you need is to have separate lavin. In the parish of Arise, you have many lavin. By every single one, it says lo sikru, lo sikru, lo sikru. So what you said before that you need kares pachos or lechalek is not true. Why? When would I need kares pachos or lechalek if they didn't say lavin by each one? But now that it says laughing by each one, so I don't need the extra chorus to make a chiluk. Again, from 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 Shem and Amishcha, I see that the laughing themselves are mechalik. I don't need the additional chorus to be mechalik, and the laughing themselves do it. So it says the Yerushalmi, um, uh, uh, Rabbi Yochum, what does Rabbi Yochum do? So Rabbi Yochum says, fascinating answer. It's amazing. I would say one of the most amazing things we've seen in the Sinu Shalmi. He says, Banashim HaKosim Dabir. When it says all those laughing, but who's those laughing going on? The men. It says, don't go close to the woman, right? But how do I know that the woman has Chiluk by Chiluk by Kriya by Arias? That she too brings separate Chatos or gets separate Malkus for each one of the Arias. Was he saying that? That would only teach us the men. You say that all women are in the Chayot and in That's what I'm asking. Yeah, I This is a general rule. Right. Right. So it's very strange. Right. So, but that's he says. Okay. That's it. That's my end. That's what he says. Does Reb Lezer not hold like that? No, he doesn't. He says, He says, He says, He says, He says, He both men and women. Rabbi Yochad, back old, Lo Sikrivu is for the men, and the Kare Spachoso is to teach us the women. That's what Gamar comes out. Okay? Wait, 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 just a minute, let me finish the line. Isn't Reb Lezer right about that? So Reservoir Scree you shall me. Says Rabbi Yochan, Pasalov Ain Mukhumar. He tried to give an answer, but the answer he gave is not clear. So you shall me doesn't even bother recording it. Whereas Rabbi Yochanan was basically vanquished on this one. Yeah. Okay? So the Ushami didn't uh vote me not though. Um the, also this we can ask on Rabbi Yochanan. Shmu Baba Boy Kumi Rabbi Zero. Shmu Baba ask for Rabbi Zero. It says it says the Yatsu Shlomim, right? It says that Shlomim are excluded. Now, this is something which is brought down in, in Torah's Kornim, and it says that Shlomim were included in all. It says anybody who eats a bus or of Shlomim and they're Tomei, so they, they transgress in Israel, right? So Shlomim are are Prach, Yosim in a cloud, because the same thing is true about all Kachim, right? So there, it says, why did Shlomin come out? It says, Shlomin came out to teach us that you get separate in this earth for each, any kachim you eat betumas when you're tummy. So it says, Gemara again, there's so many lavin there. Why need kare Shlomin to be singled out, which has a kare attached to it? There's so many lavin there as well. Right? No, it says, there, the Yatsu Shlomin is for something else. Comes to something else. The Taka doesn't teach us chiluk. It doesn't teach us to get a separate one for each thing you eat petuma. It teaches us something else. Well, as it come out, lemaid is kachy berek abayis. It comes to preclude kachy berek abayis. The next word of meila is a mistake because there is meila by berek abayis. It comes to exclude kachy berek abayis. Shlo chayavi alei mishum pigol. The noise of a tome. There's no pigol, no sor or tome by berek abayis. Okay, so that's a separate issue. In other words, the lavin are mechalik, and uh, that which you also shlom is for another thing. What? 
Well, maybe Pigel's also loved Afka, but for Tommy, I guess, you know. The prim- primary thing is saying not Tuma, that there's no Isser of Tuma by Bedeka Weiss. That's really the main thrust here. Velo, um, now, says the Gemara, Velo mas um, uh, The truth is that, you know what? There isn't even a chiluk by, by, by all these things. You were laboring on the assumption that there's a chiluk, that for each thing you eat, you get a separate malka, a separate chattis. It's not true. Vlumas Niso is in a mishta. Kachim is bech mitstarfim zayim zeh. They join together. Lemeila for the purpose of meila. Lechay valeim or to get pigul v'noiser v'tomei mashenki b'kachim bedek abayis as opposed to kachim bedek abayis. So now here's a big type, couple typos. It should be take out the next word. It should be mikavon shehein, not shehein. Shehain. Became a shame it's starfing chokin. They obviously are not cholik. If they're mitzarif. That means they all join together. So anyway, there's you're not machalik there, right? So talk it's a I'm Rebekina Vikini. Why is this? The Achlok of Lloyd Starfin, they should be machalik. There's so many Livin. Why are they not machalik? Then we just learned that wherever the multiple Livin it's machalik, why is it not machalik? Excellent question. Yushami doesn't answer it. Okay? Then Yushami goes on to a new topic. Klau ba say you prat below say you have a klau by mitzvah say, and the prat by mitzvah slow say. Mills the Rebbe Lezer, Rebbe Lezer taught us Omar klau lu pratu. Same thing applies to what we said previously. It's a klau lu prat, not the classic one, but our klau lu prat. Okay, that the prat teaches us something in the klau. The Rebbe Rebbe Lezer, Rebbe Lezer said loki al harisha b'shvius. Where do we see that? Because Rebbe Lezer says you get malchus if you if you if you plow during shemitah. Rabbi Yechonon Amar ain't like that chrisha b'shvius. Rabbi Yechonon says you don't get malchus for plowing during shmita, only by planting, pruning, things like that, but not for plowing. That's just like digging. There's no, there's no issue on, on plowing. Umar time Rabbi Yechonon. What's the logic, Rabbi Yechonon? The shavs are Shabbos Lashem Klau. There's a mitzvah say to rest. That's generality. It says you don't plant and don't prune prat. Planting and pruning are part of the cloud. The Lama Yatsu, why were they singled out? Lahaki Shalem, to draw a parallel to them. Lamail Khatels, Mazera Vizomi are just like plowing and pruning. Muchadim are unique in Shain, avoid the bards of Elon. You do them in the land and the trees. Av Ain Li Elodover Shu avoid the bards of Elon. So do anything else which is work in the land and the trees. You're chive if you do it during Shemitah Malkus. Marvelly Rabbi Yochanan. Why does Rabbi Yochanan learn from them? Say you're chayven anything. He says shneit shneit vorim. She you know what? Better stop here for tonight because it's already late. We'll come back to this tomorrow night. Okay. So it's a rocky night. Is going into more details of basic concepts of Much, much more, which is part of the problem.